Hi friends, I just wanted to finish. This is the second part of the video talking about um, connection and well-being. Um, I think I got cut off there at the end because there was an Amber Alert on my phone. So um, for some reason that just cut out the video. So um, I was talking about traumatic resilience and how connection can help you uh, recover from trauma. So that's what I was trying to say at the very end there. So again, I just wanted to sum up that Connection can really help improve your health and well-being and also the quality of your life. Um, there are many, many studies about it that um, are very well documented. Um, that it is really, a, it's kind of a, if you were to choose one thing that you could, um, that could help so many people, um, whether you have a life, health, or wellness challenge. And if I could recommend one thing in the moment, it would be to try to work on improving your sense of connection, whether it's with yourself, others, or the world or universe at large. And so with your, uh, with yourself, that could be yoga, meditation, Qigong, um, something that helps you kind of, you know, or self-care kind of helping yourself to tune in more with yourself and take better care of yourself. If you're connecting with others, um, it could be therapy, it could be friendships, family, um, you know, romantic partners, or it could be service to other people that can really give you a sense of hope and resiliency as well and make you feel more connected. Um, and if it's something with that's a greater sense of yourself, it can be connecting with the world or the universe at large. I recommend nature. Um, or maybe your, you know, spirituality. Um, there are so many ways to find that sense of connection or focusing on things that give you a sense of awe that can also help you feel connected to something greater than yourself. So I just wanted to share that. And I hope some of these tips help you and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.